Hi guys, it's Rana from onlinerana.com with a new video tutorial of the KT code and software management system. So, uh, in the previous video, we have just uh, configured our uh, biometric machines. Uh, you know, what IP scheme that we are going to configure it. So, uh, we have just given the, the uh, C class IPs and 192.168.1.10. So let's move to our diagram and uh, what we will go in next. So it will be so. So I have given uh, my uh, biometric machine IFA 702 and IPO 192.168.1.10 with subnet mask 255.255.255. Obviously, uh, it's a C class, so that's mask and gateway. 192.168.1.1 which is a gateway DNS also we are will use the DNS of the router which is 192.168.1.1 and a device number I have set my device uh, it's identical uh, identity is number one that we will use in our software to access this device and communication key is more important double two double two which will be a unique uh, to connect uh, that device remotely so the basic idea is this, behind this scenario we have uh, uh, New York City and head office and uh, Dubai and I have to connect that device so uh, and there is uh, my router in New York City uh, with the uh, static IP 10.10.10 .10 .10 or XYZ whatever you have so suppose uh, I have 182 and 19170 and uh, 105 suppose it's my uh, static IP on that router and there is a, a net and because I have a different servers on backend in that router web server and mail server and all that so and I have to mm, uh, forward my mm, some ports uh, so so the, this IP is the router IP internal LAN router so that IP 192.168.1.1 is a router IP which is a LAN IP and WAN IP it's a 10.10.10.10 and XYZ whatever you have so when I will access that IP in my software so it will uh, forward that port to that IP 192.168.1.10 uh, so the router will forward that port to that IP which is the IP of the machine so mm, uh, this is a cheap and a very economical way because I have used that model more than 10 locations my uh, as you know this here link a dedicated link a costly link and uh, uh, I have a DSL setup all that and uh, uh, just again a static IP uh, two dollar two bucks or uh, three dollar so mm, and and after that i have forward my ports to that particular machine and access that machine and the other scenario is you have to assign the public a live ip specifically to that obviously you have to purchase some pools of live ip from your uh, isp uh, internet service provider and they will charge a high high box I box to you and up to you what model you are going to deploy so we will, will stick our diagram uh, um, more oftenly and we will come back and back and discuss our that diagram it's uh, simple so new machine is configured I have set our IP scheme so that to our biometric machine and the next step is let's uh, in the next video I will set up my router to forward that port a specific port which I face 700 is used and which is a 4370 so uh, let's uh, discuss uh, that model I face 702 I think it's a nice and fair model uh, as compared to other uh, ZKS model T1, T2, T3 uh, I have also used that model but the KT code that model 702, 802 and after that which model which come 
are are easy to use and navigation is easy and simple and the frequent bugs and errors are most probably not happen in that model and the only thing is uh, it's a fingerprint capacity i think a uh, 2000 user we can enroll by uh, the fingers and 400 it's a facial capacity uh, you uh, which means that you can a uh, 400 user can uh, enroll through their facial impressions and overall user capacity of that model is 10000 and uh, um, only the, obviously 2400 is the capacity of that machine and 1 lakh is the transaction capacity of that model i think it is fair uh, 1 lakh um, transaction transaction in out 1 lakh transaction that means uh, user in and out and um, whenever uh, twice a day thrice a day so in that is the specs of that ipa 702 model and now in uh, next video i will see you and we will configure our router so take care bye bye